Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Friday. I am back in the Twin Cities. And oh my gosh, it went down last night, child. It's currently snowing right now, and I don't know why, because it's only October 14th. But you know what? I'm looking out the window, and I'm here for that, too. So if you guys do not know, last night was crazy on Twitter. Nicki Minaj and Big Lotto got into it. OK, so I'm just here to quickly break this down. I'm going to do a live stream later on today to talk further. So I begin when her hit single, Super Freaky Girl, she was told by, I guess, the Grammy board that that would not be considered for any rap categories in 2023, um, that basically they wanted to be in the pop category. Well, in contrast to that, Big Lotto dropped her song earlier this year, Big Energy, and the song was definitely a bop. And her song is still in the rap category. So Nikki definitely felt a way and she started voicing her displeasure. So Nikki took to Twitter and she says, I have no problem being moved out of the rap category as long as we are all treated fairly. If Super Freaky Girl has to be moved out of rap, so does Big Energy. Anyone who says different is simply a Nikki hater or a troll. I actually love to see more street cred win, male or female. I'm just saying right is right. And so she said that. And then one of her barbs um, basically tweeted um, this. They said literally Lotto herself even called it pop on multiple occasions. Just make it fair. And then Nicki Minaj, you know, retweeted it and she wrote yikes. And this is the part where Lotto is calling her album pop. Lotto says, I got my pop song going up now. I'm finna give y'all that urban mother effort. Then she goes on to say, could you imagine telling someone not to complain about being treated unfairly at your workplace? This is my job. I work very hard, no different than a nine to five, where you should speak up for yourself if you know you're a great employee and continue to be purposely sabotaged. Then after that, Nicki Minaj took to her live stream to talk about it further. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys that clip right now. I want to know your thoughts, right? Super Freaky Girl was removed from rap categories, we found out today, in the Grammy submissions, right? And put in pop, where I only rapped on the song. Hotline Bling won Best Rap Song. Now, what do you think is going to happen? when they start voting on these pop categories and they have to decide between Nicki Minaj and Harry Styles or Nicki Minaj and Adele. What the fuck the same Burberry custom brand? So they must move the goalpost for me all the time. Big energy is rap, but super freaky girl is pop. Now, if you say both of them are pop, I would say, okay, fine, because I'm all about being fair. In the article that just came out, it said other rap songs that have been also put in pop are Doja Say So. Well, Doja is singing in Say So. Post Malone. Well, we know Post Malone always sings, so let's keep shit fair. Even when I'm rapping on a pop track, I still out-rap, out-rap. They don't want the people who they have in the industry to have to go up against me but why that's purposely designed so that nikki is not in the category that we don't want any competition in put her in there so she has more competition and less of a chance to win all right so after her live stream clip went viral lotto got online and says damn i can't win for losing all these awards slash noms i can't even celebrate then all of a sudden, Nikki just goes off. She says, this Karen has probably mentioned my name in over 100 interviews. Says she waited in line for Pink Friday with her Barbie chain on, bangs, pink hair. But today, Scratch Off decided to be silent rather than speak up for the black woman she called her biggest inspiration. Then Nikki went on to share the DM, and the DM says this. I agree with you. However, because of where we left off, I don't think you need to bring up my name slash song to prove your point. 
So Nikki's out here sharing DMs, which is very interesting because a few years ago, she was the same one talking about people um, being corny for posting DMs. Now, she posted this in 2021. She says, don't y'all feel corny when you post a private message or a text that someone sent you? So I thought that was very rich coming from Nikki that now she's posting DMs that Lotto sent her. So then at that point, Lotto was trying to defend herself. She says, first of all, I text you because I didn't want to do the Internet shit with someone I looked up to. Just like the first time I DM'd you asking you about your ongoing subtweets. I wanted to speak up because, like I said, I do agree. But the way you're going about it seems malicious, especially after we last left off. Then she goes on to say, I've ignored countless subtweets since March and instead addressed you in the DMs. You're asking why I didn't speak up in your defense. It's the same answer I gave you when you asked why I didn't congratulate you. You're literally older than my mom trying to be a bully at Nicki Minaj. So Lotto was not mincing her words at all. Then Nicki Minaj came back and said, all this time I thought you were 35. Then Lotto says, this is the most recent subtweet in question, but I'm finna start from the beginning. Hashtag 40 year old bully. Then 40 year old bully was trending worldwide. It was crazy. And so she posted this tweet from Nikki where it says, unfollowed, uh, Barb's. I just said, stop putting that dud on my timeline. I know you're defending me, but leave that dud on TikTok. Let me think. So, and then she went on to post more stuff, like with all the subtweets. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys all the subtweets that she said Nikki was throwing at her. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Then Nikki came back and was like, this was an actual person on TikTok, a creator, not even an artist. I'm sure the barbs have receipts. It just goes to show she made up these subtweets in her head simply because she sent me two songs that I declined to do features on. They all do this. Then Nikki goes on to say... Age shaming when you look like you're pushing 40. Age shaming, but she was begging for a feature. Imagine what them jeans going to do in 10 years. Oh, so you in your 20s? Okay, then. It at least matches your album sales. You sold 20K, right? Mad you flop? That's why you're really mad. Then she doubled down and said, Who wants to hear the reference track of Scratch Off's Ghostwriters rapping her bars? She used me and the barbs in every interview until that album sold double wood. Now she's wiping the spray tan off and being a Karen. They black when it's beneficial, child. Um, then Lotto says this. Okay, first of all, this is from When I Tease Big Energy. G remix you didn't deny subtweeting me on the phone I'm confused Pete not again because she thinks I was using her fans for simply teasing my wheelie and then the big energy remix feature and then she showed a bunch of screenshots then she says <laughs> not all of a sudden you seen all the love I showed you but you chose to respond to a clip taken out of context literally fishing for a reason to back up being a bully then Nikki says a five-part story y'all check this out then Nikki also says, now pay attention. Every DM from Scratch Off is about a feature. I was kind every time, but Scratch Off feels that she has pulled behind the scenes with a few different white men. I won't name right now. Now look at my next tweet to see the very next message she sent me after I declined three features. So in the next tweet, basically Nikki is showing um, how Lotto appears to feel slighted by Nicki Minaj. And then Nikki calls her an entitled Karen. So Nikki says this, look how this Karen makes up fake beef in a passive aggressive attempt to show her frustration about me politely declining three feature requests. Scratch off is just an entitled Karen who blames others for her album flopping. Better stop it, scratch off. So then Big Lotto responds and she says, I literally named you as my dream collab multiple times in multiple interviews. Like I told you on the phone, I looked up to you. You still never answered my question about where the random shade started coming from. 
And then she herself was also showing screenshots. Then Lotto <laughs> says, with all that being said, this wasn't just about a Grammy category. You being funny, bringing me up to defend your case, knowing our last convo didn't end on good terms. You literally told me I'm not flourishing and no one cares about my little song on the phone. LOL at Nicki Minaj. She says, been subtweeting, super freaky grandma is married and related to a fucking rapist. You ain't gonna bully me, bitch. My idol turned rival. Now you hating. Then she came back and said, I'll die on this hill by myself. Everybody ain't lying on you. We see the pattern. Be fucking for real. So Lotto was not here for it. She went in. So now this is why I find really funny is that, you know, Nikki wrote all this stuff back to Lotto last night. But this morning, she's deleted a lot of her tweets. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. That's play with you, piggy. Which is very interesting because uh, the, the great little Kim once said this. Okay, let me go ahead and quote the real Queen Bee. Kim says, what type of coward, lame ass bitch tweets some shit, then deletes it? Real bitches stand by what they say. Bozo. Kim said that in 2011. Okay. Just had to refresh y'all's memory. So this is one of the tweets that Nicki Minaj deleted that you can no longer find on her page. But like I said, we took screenshots last night. Nikki says, one, didn't care about rape when she was begging for features. Two, didn't care about Kodak's past. Three, didn't care about accusations made by Dr. Luke, who produced big energy. Four, news flash, scratch off. I never raped anyone. I've inspired millions. You're one of them. Bozo. Mm. Then she goes on to say, y'all keep letting these bozos weaponize the word rape when they are being dragged and not holding them accountable for not actually caring about rape victims in real life. They have the same two drags about me and one of them ain't even about me. That's how you know you that bitch. So those were the two tweets that she deleted. Um, so let's see. That's because people were dragging her under those tweets. If you were there last night, she was getting dragged for the filth. And let's keep it real. Most people do not mention her rape outside of the fandoms. I've never heard any celebrity come at her about these rape allegations. Lotto's the first to do it. I haven't heard any industry people speak about this. So she needs to stop. The only people who've ever thrown that rape allegation in her face have been either YouTube bloggers or, you know, the fandoms on Twitter. It has not been big celebrities. So Lotto says, this feature was never a problem. You passed on two songs I sent and still showed love. You not the only person I sent the songs to that passed. Never took offense. I'm a rapper. Cute way to spin the narrative, though. Then after Nikki was saying that she was going to post, you know, the, the reference track, um, Lotto responds to that. She says, I'll post them my goddamn self. They'll all tell you I write too. I heard a few of your references before they came out too, boo-boo. You forget we all collaborate with the same writers. Differences, I don't deny it. The world see me writing since I was 16 on national television. So now this morning, honey, early this morning, because I went to bed after all this. I was tired. I just got off of a plane ride. These two chicks are on the internet arguing and going back and forth i got sleepy and crawled into bed and went to sleep woke up this morning and seen that i guess lotto didn't go to bed last night child lotto was still responding to Nicki minaj it was a tweet that Nicki minaj was responding to and one of her barbs says at Nicki, i've never even heard you speak the word flourishing how does it even sound coming from your mouth i can't imagine unless she did it in a british accent so Nicki replies back and she says Exactly. Then there was another fan that she was replying to, but that person has not deleted their tweet. And Nikki says, ain't no way in hell you believe I said those words. It seemed like after Lotto pulled out her receipts, that fan deleted her tweet because Lotto was not lying. So let's go ahead and see what Lotto had to say to that. Lotto ends up responding and she says, let me specify. I'm sorry. I'm delusional for saying for saying where newer female rappers are flourishing. And you said no one cares about my little song lyrics. My bad. FYI, I only recorded because I know who the fuck I'm playing with. Hashtag 40 year old bully. She then proceeded to play audio of Nicki Minaj talking. This was crazy. I've done are nothing to you. Crazy yeah, you, you are. Something that is clearly delusional. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. Recognize, to recognize we weren't giving the platforms that we're being given right now. What platforms have you got? 
And I literally, I give you props all the time in every other interview for opening the door for that to be a possibility now. Oh, so you, oh, okay. So what, in conclusion, what do you think, um, you want to, you want to say about, let's let you finish your statement about what, you know, rappers were doing before and what they're doing now. Let, let, I want, I want you to finish it. I finished it, Nikki. Okay. I said, at, at, for a long time, it was you. It was me. Yes, so, so, and, and so, your, so your... So you didn't do your research. <sighs> what is so, 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 so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have somebody send you, send you the information about all the women in the, in the last 10 years who have had um, billboard recognition mm -hmm. worldwide global mm -hmm. recognition mm -hmm. since you are clearly putting yourself above these people no i'm not that's like that's the purpose misinter uh i can't even think of the word like just purposely trying not to understand what i'm saying you don't even understand what you're saying because see, no i know exactly what i'm saying what i'm saying is it was you running shit for a long time i never said that you're no longer running shit i said i've done nothing to you yeah you are something that is clearly delusional it's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing it's 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 delusional to say that other girls are flourishing recognize to recognize we weren't giving the platforms that we're being given right now and i literally i give you props all the time in every other interview for opening the door for that to be a possibility now oh okay so what in conclusion what do you think um you want to you want to say about let's let you finish your statement about what you know rappers were doing before and what they're doing now let let i want i want you to finish it i finished it nikki okay i said at, at for a long time it was you it was me yes so, so, and in so, your so your you didn't do your research <sighs> What it, it, so, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have somebody send you Send you the information about all the women In the, in the last 10 years Who have had um, Billboard recognition mm -hmm. Worldwide global mm -hmm. recognition mm -hmm. Since you are clearly Putting yourself above these people No I'm not That's like that's the purpose Misinter uh, I can't even think of the word, like just purposely trying not to understand what I'm saying. You don't even understand what you're saying because see, no, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it was you running shit for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running shit. I said, no, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it was you running shit for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running shit. I said, I never said that you're no longer running shit. I said that there are other females flourishing. What is the problem with that? The hard way. You're going to learn the real world and the Well, I love you and I will, regardless, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to support you from the sidelines. I feel very, yes, from the sidelines because... I can't do it publicly when someone is literally subtweeting me for no reason, purposely okay. trying to misinterpret what I'm saying. I, I respect you too much to go back and forth with you. So okay. I, I appreciate you for getting on the phone with me. The song lyric was recorded last year, way before any of this. And I cannot. Could, yeah, you said because you just you just but said I, I like to say it's giving, though. The, it's giving bar was nothing. It didn't have nothing to do with you. Understand? If people around you cared about you, they would have told you that's not going to benefit you. What's not going to benefit me? Let me go. I have to do a zoom. I'll, I'll hit you back. Thank you.
All right, so you guys just heard that audio. It is going viral all over social media. So that is where all of this drama ends right now, this beef. So anyways, I leave the question up to you guys. Whose side are you guys on? Are you team Nicki Minaj on this? Are you team Lotto? Do you feel like Nicki Minaj at this point is being a bully and is harassing these girls behind the scenes? Or do you feel like, you know, Lotto was doing too much, especially by, you know, leaking the audio? So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.